So today we're here at Endemic World where I love getting all my favourite art from and we often style shots for Endemic World but usually just in our own little studio at home and usually you guys only get to see the finished shot. So today we're going to show you some behind the scenes of how we get it done. Come take a look. The first thing you have to remember when you're styling is to remember what you're selling and we are selling the most beautiful piece by Amy Wybrow. What I love about it is I love two things. I love how crisp her colours are, that really crisp blue and crisp green. And I also love the beautiful curve. So those are the two things I'm really trying to show off in this shot. But what's not working is too many white furniture objects. And so what's popping out is only the big pops of colour. Only the cushion and the, and the magazines are popping. So what I'm actually going to try is changing to a blue chair and see if that makes a difference. One shot down. I started with this one today because I knew this would be a little bit easier. It's nice and crisp and clean and it's a really beautiful piece that would look so good in a really nice white light, lovely, maybe a conservatory or a living room. Anyway, I'm stoked because I got to use this guy who I only bought just yesterday and um, I just really love the colour, how beautifully see-through it is. Right, on to the next one. tips for how we've styled this lovely beautiful circular work by Dominique Baker. It's a very dainty work, but it's quite feminine, so we've used the maiden hair fern, which is very feminine. We've used the, the curve and the feather and the lovely chair with its wire and the fringe of the cushion. They're all there to kind of soften the whole look because the painting is quite soft. And also the colour on the wall, which is Rosine Dapper, which I have to say slight confess because I like the name of the paint, that's why I chose it. But also because it's this lovely biscuity colour and it kind of, it's like a, you get the painting and then you get the wall, get a nice step and tone. So that's why I've chosen that lovely colour in the background. Cool, to the next one. So the tip when styling something intimate like the George Sands nudes that we have here is to not overpower them. It'd be really easy to just throw lots at it, lots of green and maybe an extra cushion, a black chair. But when we actually looked at it, it starts to all just get so overpowering that you really lose what it is that you're talking about and that is the beautiful artwork. So keep it light. So there you have it. That's how we put together our styled shoots for Endemic World. We've had so much fun today, as we always do, working with such a huge variety of art. Make sure you go check them out online, head to their store on Ponsonby, and find yourself that piece of art you just can't live.